guys. Hey guys, good to see you. So here we are on a sunny Friday afternoon. Sunny Friday afternoon. Going to see my beautiful mother-in-law and sister-in-law singing in a, I think at a, at a senior a, center. Senior center. And so, um, but we just wanted to come and say hi. It's been a while. Hey, it's been a while. Our videos. And so, um, you know, God's been having us in this process right now of purging from our home, getting rid of uh, uh, a bunch of stuff and uh, just having too much, right? Trying to declutter our home. and um, Which is handy, uh, not only for the decluttering, but also for, because some of the, the, the clutter in our lives isn't just physical. It's not. And it can actually sidetrack us and handicap us from stuff that God wants us to do. And so that's what he's been saying. He's been saying, okay, I've asked you to declutter stuff, but I also want you to declutter your your life in areas that have gotten cluttered up. So things like myself taking a break from Facebook for a month. Yes. And you've been doing that too, right? Yep, you've been me too. off of there. And um, uh, things like uh, making sure that things that we've committed to um, get handled. After. So yep. I was able to get a couple things that have been kind of hanging over my head for the last few months that I've been told people I was going to do and just kept forgetting, kept forgetting, and finally got them off into the mail. And, um, yeah, just purging my, my forgetfulness. And you, my... and you know one of the ways that clutter happens is that we uh, have one way is that we have distractions. We have things that pop up in front of us. But what happens to the thing that you were heading towards to do, so to speak, and something pops up in front of you, so you go off to do to interact with that instead? Well, what happens to that thing that you were originally planning on doing? Well, it gets junked off to the side, and for another time, and you know, like uh, adds clutter to the uh, not clatter, all that too, but clutter to the desktop of your life. And because there are these th things just scattered all the way. What was that? That's yeah. awesome. Must have been Jesus. Um, and um, and and so and this is how we how we get cluttered is uh, we sometimes it can be that we are good at starting but not at finishing. Sometimes it can be that we are trying to surrogate off of what's happening a certain kind of a feeding. And uh, for our personalities, or our person, or or what's happening with our with our life, or whatever, and so you go from one feeding thing to the next, but you never finish the previous bottles worth of milk, so to speak, that you're you're trying to get from it. And so, because it's always the next shiny thing, always the next attention getter or grabber, always the the one priority that pops up in front of you. And pretty soon, we have a whole bunch of unfinished priorities with. Uh, and with the leftovers lying all around and so the room of our heart the room of our mind the room of our life gets all messy and cluttered with stuff so purge is happening and yes our house is getting more organized thankfully and we're getting rid yes. of stuff that i think we've been carrying around for a long time and things um, that can become dear like i've got a bunch of books and my wife says to me honey i said yes honey she says honey or the Money. conversation went something like that. Uh, do you, you know, let's let's go through the books and what you could, because you know we get some. Oh, that'll be a great book to read. So we get it and then we file it away. And then over the course of days, weeks, months, years, uh, where you are in your headspace changes. And so you look back at that book that you got like a half a year ago, and you're like, nah, I'm not really interested in this topic as much as I used to be. And so it just, but then you put it back on the shelf. But that's clutter. And so, um, and, and, or it can be you just keep amassing stuff that will be great and useful, um, but you can't get to it right now. And so, like those books, those books are very dear to me because I'm a research pig, so to speak. I, I love looking stuff up. I love investigating. I love uh, reading. Um, but, um, so, but I mean, but there's all these books here, and yet we are supposed to be getting rid of what is not practically uh, practically useful to us in the right now or won't be soon practically useful to us. And so um, some of these things that are clutter in our life can be stuff that we feel an affinity for or, or sentimental about or whatever, but it doesn't mean that it's still not hurting us. 
it doesn't mean that it's still not being a weight dragging us down, slowing us down, interfering with forward progress. And so my wife has been tremendously helpful, super helpful, in, uh, <laughs> and helped me stay on track and like, okay, honey, what books do you need? What books do you want? We'll put, write them down on the list and can we get them on ebook later uh, or on Kindle or whatever so we can get rid of these? And it's been good, but just so you know, sometimes there'll be stuff that you feel an allegiance to, but number one, should you? And, and I think that, um, that this can go across our life with, um, those things that have been holding you back, even in your own heart, or is there clutter in your heart that, um, that you've been holding on to because it's too difficult to get rid of. It's too hard to let go of that person that you need to forgive or that person that, um, that, you know, that you need, needed to go help, but you didn't want to because it was uncomfortable or maybe, um, it's letting go of, um, past failures in your own life or whatever things that God's asking you to step out in, but you're too afraid to. So those are all things that can clutter our hearts as well. So I encourage you today to, um, to actually to ask the Lord, is there areas that I need to purge? Maybe you need to purge your own home physically as well, but but maybe there's things in your heart that you need to purge, like the Lord's been challenging us with. So so spend some time with Him today yeah. and ask the Lord, Lord, where do I need to purge in my own life? He'll help um, you. So He'll lead you. So, anyways, we love you guys. Have an awesome day. We just wanted to come on quick and, and say this, and we pray that you have an awesome day. And uh, we love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. And remember that God loves you. And that Jesus is, is the, the point. point. Bye-bye.